Oh, look at Mickey James in here, the DT. Look at this. Oh, look at there. You, there you go, Mickey James. Look, it's getting a pop from the crowd here in the Izod Center. Paying fans in the front row get to get their money's worth. Oh, what do you do is stop it, Mickey James celebration her tracks on the quickness here. Kobe trying to hear that. Oh, that Singapore came out across Mickey James. And you know earlier, folks. You know how Coco and Mickey James have been in the argument, and how Coco's been afraid of, you know, the, she's got to carry Mickey James because unlike the World's Hot Technic Coco, you know, they've been in like this before, they can, where they have to take bumps and, you know, take a lot of possible injuries. And Mickey James had been keeping the WWE, he never had to worry about these type of matches. So obviously Mickey James has had a huge handicap, but so far Mickey James has been pretty good. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute, oh, that cutter! I don't know if I'm going to get deep on the outside. I spoke too soon. That cut on the arena floor there. That definitely can lead to concussions. I got about that one, Rock Rocker. Oh, just Mickey James can't seem to recover after that. This cook is still getting a flight of boots by Anna Tan over there. Oh my god, look at Renegade 2. He's got Mickey James up effortlessly and drops her down on her. The Diva Buster straight on her skull. Wait a minute, this music. Oh, wait, oh no, because the heat's coming out here now. Ah, oh, damn it. Silver Wolf, Coco's ex fiance. You know, they were going to get married, you know, this year, but due to that, you know, that indiscretion with the Wolf's House hacking. Oh, oh, look at what Jeff Becker, no, before I have that sledgehammer. That's what I'm talking about. Get this asshole out of this match here. You don't know if we're fed that Silver Wolf's probably going to. Definitely going to come out here and help World Toss Tag Team. That's that's thing, that's thing we want, you know, is to have what happened at the well, first fight, even though this match pretty much encourages that type of, that type of, you know, actions. And look at this, all this Renegade Diva, all getting the face of one of the fans here. Oh, look at that. Actually, the Renegade Diva and Anna Tan synonymous with the fact that they don't give a shit what the fans think about them. Seems like for now, Jeff Becker took care of the Silver Wolf problem that it was going to happen. Yeah, that's all going to still fight on the stage here. Uh, Jeff Becker with that neck breaker on the Silver Wolf. Guys getting a huge ovation from the fans here. And back to the action. They definitely don't want to cover from these four double ups fighting. They have nothing but the cut between two, two, two pieces of action going on. It's a thing about UW really having one camera at a Oh, now we're back to the Jeff Becker. Look at that. Oh, a face buster. I think Laura Hardy has that same maneuver there. Oh, no. Look at this. Jeff Becker does before that. He's power driver. Oh, that jumping power driver on the steel ramp on the Silver Wolf. If that's not going to take out Silver Wolf out of the, the pitch, I don't know what will. Thank goodness Jeff Becker took him out of the picture. Yeah, and so definitely not get chance to come out here and get any type of involvement. I mean, we know we can do it with those steel steps. And look at Anna Tan there. That moonsault. Oh! It seems that momentary distraction is to steal the World's Hardest Tag Team with all the offense there. But, well, Mickey James pulled down the third rope. Running game team just right there to stop her. Shot between the legs of Anna Tan. That'll definitely get her off the apron there. And look at this. When you keep it in attention to something and, and separating the, the current women's Tekken champions in the process, all over the show, we put this unique athleticism by Anna Tan. The type of moves like that that make her famous. One of the top double boxes in the EW with the two so many things that no one else can do. Look at that. that flying DDT on the Mickey James. And now the, look at the table is set on the outside here. Oh no, look at this. And Mickey James here. Oh, they're coming to the save it to no avail. Oh, it's like that. Here's Bulldog on Mickey James to the table. Finally, Mickey James has eaten wood here in UW. Let's show a replay of it. It's Bulldog by and Coco trying to stop it. Also failed miserably. And look at that. That Bulldog is throwing Mickey James face first at that table. i will show you another replay of this. Let's watch Coco's biff this. Uh, look at that. Come on, Miss, Miss Q right there. Look at that. Mickey James face first. Through the table. Wait, well, yeah, now Lyman's on top of the on top of the announce table. And Coco's on the nerd table. What's this? My goodness! My God! 
That double team to go cook on the table. Oh, we got a show replay. Look at that, folks. That table is way deep in its hand. That guy just jumped on the cook. Look at that. Like, this is disgusting. I'm going to cook on the shows. That guy most has a team with double offense on the cook to the table. Like, oh no, folks. Oh no. Look at this, the roughly the Dolphins are coming out to take Coco on a stretcher. Alright, I guess I'm receiving word that Coco's been eliminated from the match. And wait a minute, so is Anna Tan hasn't been moved since either. Because Anna Tan's been put on a stretcher, yep. Anna Tan's been put on a stretcher as well. Looks like both Anna Tan and Coco have been eliminated from this match. Saw Anna Tan landed from out the, the top of the ladder. She wasn't moving on the ground. Kind of clutching at the ankles. I think she might have hurt her foot or something. You have to get some, yeah, take another replay. Oh, see, look at that. It's Anna Tan not moving. I guess she took that blow just as hard as Mickey James did. I think Renegade Dia might even land on her kind of long. I don't know. But I think this is just a one on one now. And Jeff Becker's out here. Oh, wait a minute. I think Mickey James might have busted Renegade Dia open with that steel chair. God, we never thought we'd see this on Mickey James at all. Who would have thought that Mickey James would actually make her opponent bleed? No one thought that would ever happen. Uh, of course, Mickey James taking, her, uh, taking, all that, taking advantage of the opportunity. Uh, we just saw with Anna Tan and Coco. You know, we all expected that those career threatening actions here. Oh, wait a minute. This could be that Mick D T. Oh, look at that. It's plants Mickey D on her, on her head. It's a weak. And so many, and Mickey D is taking so many wicked shots to the head. And the referee kind of check on Renegade Diva since she's still able, physically able to compete here. Of course, Renegade, if she's not, then the referee has no choice but to stop the match. And if Renegade Diva suffered a concussion, he might stop this match here. And I guess not. Renegade Diva is still battling in this match here. Like I said, this moments ago. But that, that, you know, what happened to Anna Tan and Coco, and that's what we came to expect in this match here. You knew that these doubles were going to put their bodies on the line just to sell this rivalry once and for all. And that's it. And they paid the ultimate price here tonight. And quite possibly Mickey James or Renegade Diva or hell, even both of them might do the same here tonight. Pay the ultimate price. And I mean, pay the ultimate price. I mean, their crew might be on the line here. They might, their crew might be over here after this match. And Renegade Diva is going to town with that chair on Mickey James trying to bust open what she what Mickey James did to her. Look at that. Throwing Mickey James clear across the ring on the steel chair. Exploding to the fans here. Mickey James refusing to bleed. Wait, Jeff Becker's in the ring. Oh my! And he just stepped in the ring and saw the chair. And I think Jeff Becker's busted wide open. God, yeah, he got a silk chair shot busted wide, but I think he didn't bleed anymore than Renegade Diva. I don't think it's funny that Renegade Diva ever. Well, you gotta yeah, give Renegade Diva her props. Making Jeff Becker bleed here. This one simple chair shot. Oh, that leg up the back of the head of Jeff Becker and I'm looking James. And I admire Jeff's you know, tenacity. Turn this into a two on one handicap match. We're going to have to find some way to slow down running a diva if, if it's even physically possible. So nothing to stop running a diva here, but they finally catch her and put a stop to momentum here. The chops. Oh, this misses with that. Surprise kick that Tony takes to miss again. Jeff just trying to catch it. He can't do it. I think he just, the, the blood is flowing from the skull. He's impairing the eyesight. Can only see what's going on. Damn right. That's why you think in normal circumstances this two of them handicap has been more successful. We're running a heat. He's getting an ass kicked by Jeff and Nikki James. It's like what we saw happen on episode 26 of Assault. When we saw the return of Coco, Nikki James, and Jeff. Totally getting the re two things around this rivalry. Maybe he is still holding on to still fighting, still going strong here in this match. And I guess all oh, that electric chair drop is dropping Jeff from her shoulders all to the mat here. Once again, more devastation to the face, the head, the skull of Jeff Becker. And you know the blood loss is definitely going to... Is it going to... You know, running a demon, Jeff Becker, someone's going to succumb to the blood loss. You know, Mickey James definitely got to be feeling aware of the battle here as well. She already went through a face first to a table. She ate a diva bust from the outside. She ate a bunch of Singapore cane. I don't know how much... 
Mickey James has left in this match. So he put his chair, he's just has a busted running a deep and Jeff open. Look at that trick by Mickey James. Falls with this another chair shot to the face, but then after Jeff got in, look at this. Oh, look at that chair shot. It's causing Jeff to bleed profusely. Oh, wait, no. Jeff's up and he's going to deliver the Diva Buster. Jeff Becker. I mean, male superstar doesn't really make sense, but I mean, Jeff is just easily disposed of. He didn't really amount to anything this match. I mean, yes, he did take up Silverwolf, but he couldn't even help out Mickey James' with two on one handicap. And it seems like Jeff's been taking on fair. Look at Renegade Diva here. Oh my god, are you serious? Pull out so I mean into the injury. She's actually using Coco Simpson Hulk for fetching the tears of the sun on her own tag team partner, Mickey James here. Oh my god, she can make and I don't know the of course she can't tap out because this is an early death match. Can't make sure that she's doing this to it.